I put this image of Mount Rainier up. Now most people that would look at this photograph would realize that in order for the mountain to cast that shadow on the clouds above it, the sun had to be coming from an angle or an altitude lower than the peak of the mountain. That's why they call me. And the narrow part of the shadow is at the peak of the mountain, and then it widens out. Okay, so the claim he's making is that the shadow is actually getting wider as it comes towards you, right? It's not a perspective illusion, and he's going to say this in a minute, but I want to cover this right now. Okay, so he's making the case for a close sun, because in a far away sun, the shadow would be parallel. It would be parallel lines, right? Just like when I did this outside a few years ago and I my crepuscular ray video and I showed that uh, with my piece of cardboard representing a cloud, when the sun is far, the, the light rays are straight, right? And then when I came inside and I put the light close to my cardboard, you can see the light rays splay out and it's the same for the shadow. The shadow is also splaying out, right? So it's getting actually getting physically wider, all right. So that's what he's saying. He inadvertently is making the case for a close sun by insisting that this shadow here in Mount Rainier is not a perspective illusion, but is actually the shadow is actually getting wider. <laughs> this guy's a piece of work, man. And he claims he's a perspective expert. OK, let's go on. Now, just to show it's not an optical illusion due to perspective or whatever they're trying to claim. Here's a side view. The shadow starts small, and it gets bigger. Okay, Bob, let me tell you what's going on in this photo. All right, see that shadow? First of all, you said it's a side view. Well, it's not completely a side view. See, the shadow is still coming at you. That's why it's still spreading out. Not as quite as much as this picture, but it's still spreading out because it's a different angle, right? But it's still coming towards you. Now, see the lower part of the shadow right there? You know why that's appears lower than this side of the shadow because this part of the shadow is further away from you, Bob, and this part of the shadow or this side of the shadow is closer to you. Like the sky. See these clouds here? They're just as high as these clouds here and these clouds here. It's just perspective, fleur perspective. Everything angles down away from the observer, Bob. It visually goes down, Bob. So this shadow is not spreading out because if it is, you got a problem. That means the sun is close, really close, because otherwise it's going to be virtually parallel lines. The shadow will be parallel. The sun is below the peak of the mountain. The clouds are above the peak of the mountain, and the shadow is being cast upward onto the cloud base. Nope. As I showed you in previous videos, Bob, the first shadow in the morning and the last shadow of the day is always on top of the clouds from the perspective of mountain climbers. They're there at sunrise and they're there at sunset. And that's the shadow we see right here. That's it. And I challenged you to show me one photo taken from the peak of a mountain that shows the shadow cast on the clouds above the peak of the mountain. Okay, from the perspective of the peak of the mountain, where mountain climbers and aerial photos, people taking helicopter rides around the peak would be able to show that. But there's not one photo. I'm still waiting for that one photo. Anybody, show me the shadow cast on the underside of the clouds from the perspective of the peak of the mountain that show it above the peak. Okay? Show me that shadow cast on clouds above the peak of the mountain. It doesn't exist. That's why you can't show it. That's why you can't show it because the shadow is always cast on top of the clouds. And here's a quick little animation I made to show you. This is how the shadow works. From If you're in the same perspective here, I'm going to move the shadow around the mountain, and you can see it. It, it comes up as it goes towards you and spreads out, and as, when it goes away, it narrows and points down. That's how it works. All right. Thanks, everybody. And uh, I'll do more on this uh, subject because I still have a lot more stuff I didn't put out yet. 
but I'll get to it. Thank you so much, and make sure you check out my store. I got 10% off today and tomorrow. It's good through uh, midnight Pacific time on, uh, I think it's Pacific time, on um, tomorrow, February 17th. Okay, on Monday, February 17th at midnight. So go ahead and pick up some merch. Oh, and don't forget to use promo code LOVESICK at checkout. All right, put that in, you get 10% off. All right, great. We'll talk to you guys soon. Thank you so much for helping support the channel by doing that. And give it a thumbs up if you haven't, and subscribe. And have a wonderful weekend. Okay, thanks. Bye-bye.